came to uh, have a meeting with Chuck Schumer, his assistant actually. We want to ask him to join the caucus for the CTE schools and support the Perkins grant a little bit more. I really want him to see how prepared every CTE student is, especially graduating out of their high school, how prepared and how job ready they are just to hop into the workplace and just impress employers and show them that we can close the skills gap. So we're trying to close that by being in career technical education programs. Those are the programs that are most needed right now. I personally am very honored to be chosen to come down here and speak to Congress and to senators. We were chosen to come down here to represent our state, our home chapters, and I'm honored just to be here. I'm a little nervous, but um, I'm also really excited being 16, 17 years old, talking to a senator, representative, congressman. No one really gets that chance my age, so I'm really thankful, but I'm nervous because I don't want to mess anything up, but I'm confident I'll do great. Is the Senator aware that students who participate in a CTE program are 10% more likely to graduate high school? Mm -hmm. I think it's what, 93% is the rate right 93% now? 93% yeah. is the rate right now. Mm -hmm. That's why I really do think you guys should continue pushing the Perkins grant, because mm -hmm. with the proper funding, at the entire state gets brand new machinery and equipment. The same machinery that you see in an auto shop down the road. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're even more up to date than most shops around us, and it's, just, it's all thanks to the Perkins grant. I didn't want to just sit in a classroom. I wanted first-hand experience and knowledge, and career and technical education gives you that like a normal school wouldn't. It's great that you're coming up here, and so we're definitely in a safe space. We're well aware, and so that's why we're going to try to push as much as possible so we can make it better for each student. I feel pretty happy after that. I was really nervous to begin with, but um, coming out of that meeting, I feel like I re represented New York in a really good way, and I feel like I made a difference. Uh, I think we advocated very well for Skills USA and CTE schools in general. We talked about the skills gap and the Perkins grant, and we shared our framework and CTE stories. We informed her what it was, you know, what percentages for coming out of the skills gap, why career and tech schools are important to close the skills gap with skilled, ready workers for the workforce. I'm a little shaken up. I was a little intimidated going in there at first, but now that I went through it and it's over with, I'm pretty happy with how um, my group did. We did pretty well, so I'm, I'm satisfied. I feel very proud to be able and to be here advocating for my fellow peers in CTE in general. To be able to speak to someone in power is a great, great accomplishment in my school career and my life, pretty much. I used to be really quiet, and because of skills, I jumped out of the box, and here I am speaking with representative senators of New York. I mean, it's a huge thing. It's Everyone should take this opportunity. It, it changes you entirely. I'm not the quiet kid I was a few years ago in, in high school. I'm out there. I'm trying to represent New York State. And I just want to be able to show others that they can do that, too.